this is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel, and today I'm going to make a dish that I can't find anywhere in the store, but my daughter had it Saturday night. Now, this, this is really weird to me. I'm going to show y'all how to make Chicken a la King, and when I was growing up, you could find Chicken a la King in the freezer section all over the place. And now it's become like an old recipe. Well, I love this stuff. So, I had already planned on making this. Hold on a second. I'm sorry. Uh, my grandson was doing something I didn't want him to be doing. Um, anyway, my daughter went over to their friends Saturday night. And I had already planned Saturday during the day when they weren't here. I had gotten a rotisserie chicken. And I had already planned that I was going to make this chicken a la king. And my daughter went over to her friend's house. And they had the Stouffer's chicken a la king. Now that's the only one that I've found that makes chicken a la king anymore. Used to, you could get it in like a boiling bag. You could get it, ev you know, everywhere. Now, like I said, it's like an old recipe. Well, she loved it. So I had already decided to make this, and now I'm going to make it. But I'm, I'm always one, if I'm going to cook a, a big meal or a big dish like this, I always want to make more than I should say that we'll have leftovers. So you don't have to make as much as I'm going to make today, but I'm going to make a big one. <laughs> All right, so... What I've got to do right now is I've got eight ounces of mushrooms that I've washed and, and taken the stems out. I've got one green bell pepper. I've got two onions, one yellow, one white. And I have two stalks of celery. And this is all got to be cut up and put into, I'm using my big copper chef pan on my new wave oven and another thing there's my grandson i was just y'all want to see him <laughs> okay do we do we want to make that kind of face on the camera <laughs> okay he's been pretending like he was a, a crocodile all day anyway i want to show y'all this as you can see i have a paper towel under my copper shelf and someone asked me the other day if that was a paper towel, and it is. I have the paper towel under my copper chef pot on my new wave, and it doesn't bother it. It doesn't burn. It doesn't even get it hot because of the way that a um, induction cooktop works. And this pan slides all over the new wave unless I put a paper towel on it under it so that's what i've got but i've got my copper chef pan this is the large one i think it's 11 quarts uh, the biggest one that they have but anyway i'm going to cook all this i mean cook cut all this stuff up and dice it up very small and then i will bring you back okay i'm back all right in my um copper chef i've got a half a stick of butter, Kerrygold butter, a half a stick of that, and I'm going to put in about two tablespoons of just regular olive oil. All right. All right, and my butter's almost melted. And I've cut up the two onions, one green bell pepper, an eight ounce pack of mushrooms, and what was the other thing? <laughs> oh yeah, celery, two stalks of celery. All right, and I'm gonna put that in here and I'm gonna let it saute until it's nice and soft. And I'll bring you back when I get to the next step. Okay, I'm back. All right, you can see down in the pot now the onions and the peppers and the celery and the mushrooms have all softened up. And the next thing I'm going to do, and remember that the um, recipe will be underneath the video, but I'm going to put a half a cup, Doesn't it doesn't have to be exact, but I'm going to put a half a cup of flour in here. 
and I'm going to stir this up really well and I'm going to let this flour cook in here for about five minutes or so because you want the taste of the flour out of this dish so you've got to cook it off so I'm going to let this cook for about five minutes and I'll bring you back to the, when I do the next step okay I'm back all right, this is cooked for about five minutes, and I've just stirred it around and got the flour all spread out, and and hopefully that flour taste cooked out of it. And I've got a, remember, I'm making a big pot of this, so yeah, I don't have to use this much, but I've got a 32-ounce box <laughs> of chicken broth, reduced sodium, chicken broth and I'm going to put that in here alright and I've got one cup of milk and I'm going to pour that in here and this milk has been sitting out for 30 minutes or so so it's not so cold alright now I'm going to stir this up And it's going to get thick as I stir it. And I've got one four ounce container of pimentos that I've drained in this little strainer. And I'm going to put these in here. Alright, and I'm going to put one, about a half a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. I'm going to put that in here. Not very much, but about a half a teaspoon in here. And I'm going to put a teaspoon of granulated garlic. I know that's not very much, but to me, <laughs> anything is a lot because I really don't like garlic that much. All right. Then I'm going to put a, I've already put in, I forgot to tell you all this, I put in a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper when I was sauteing the vegetables. So I'm going to put like another half a teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper in here. And then I'm going to put, remember there's no salt, I haven't put any salt in here, and it's reduced sodium uh, chicken broth so there's not that much salt so I'm going to put another teaspoon of salt in here alright that's all the seasonings let me stir this up oh wow this looks so good I think this is going to be amazing I don't know if it's going to be I may have to add some more liquid to it. All right, I've got one. I want to show you all this. It's not very much, but I had one small rotisserie chicken, and I'm going to put all the chicken in here. And then I've got two 12-ounce bags of peas and carrots that I'm going to put in here. And I am going to have to have some more liquid. I guess I'm going to have to put in, let's see, this may be enough peas and carrots, let me see, yeah, I think this is enough peas and carrots, I'm only going to use the one bag for this, alright, so I'm going to let this cook, and um, for about, 10 more minutes so everything is the peas and the carrots are uh, warm and the chicken is warm and this is thickened up and I'll bring you back when this gets done okay I wanted to tell you I forgot all about this but I have a half a container of the chicken broth reduced sodium chicken broth that was in my refrigerator that I need to use up so I'm going to go on and pour that in here and make this um, 
so there's a little bit more in here so I used one of these and a half of one of these so you can see we're going to have some leftovers but that's exactly what I wanted so I've got to let this come back up to temp again and all these vegetables soften up more and this it, I'm, I mean it smells so good in my house this is going to be so good so anyway I'll bring you back when we get ready to eat okay I'm back alright now this is for dinner tonight this um, chicken island king but it's lunch time now so I'm going to eat some for lunch and what I've done is I've just got it on toast made some toast covered it with this and I'm going to taste it now and see what it tastes like. A little bit hot. Oh, wow. This is, this is really good. Really good. Mmm. I know you can't really see it, but uh, the carrots, the peas, the pimentos. Mm. All right, this is amazing. Mm, I love Chicken Island King. All right, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and below there'll be links to my Facebook page for food prepping my Twitter. There will be links to Zacon Farm Fresh Meats where you can see if they come to your area and you go out on different times during the month and and in your area and get the Farm Fresh Meats and they are amazing and they're very reasonable. And also the recipe will be below. Please share this with your friends, your family, on your Facebook wherever you'd like to share it please share it and i hope you have a wonderful day bye